What's up guys, Becky here, and today we're gonna do my four favorite stretches for your QL muscle. So a lot of times the QL muscle is blamed for lower back pain, but it's like lower back pain that you'll feel on one side of your body. So if, like me, you have a little baby that you like to hold on your hip, then you'll find that your pelvis is in the squinched position all the time, and your QL might feel a little jacked up. So, and it can happen with lots of different things. If you sit on your wallet, or if you use one foot in the car, you sit with poor mechanics at a desk. The QL muscle can get really tight or really weak, kind of pull your pelvis around. So the QL, it's actually named quadratus lumborum, which is, anatomy is so fascinating to me because quadratus means square, lumborum means it's on your lumbar. So basically it's a square on your lumbar spine. It attaches your iliac crest, so right here, to your bottom rib there. So it does this and it's responsible for side bending, okay? So side bending. All right, so today I'm gonna give you four of my favorite stretches to stretch the QL muscle and grab your mat and we will do this thing. Here are stretches for the QL muscle. So the first stretch, you're going to find yourself in a little hurdler stretch here. So I'm taking my left leg right out from my hip, but all, not on the midline, off to the side a little bit. And then the right leg is crossed with my inner thigh. I'm gonna take my left hand to my right knee. So you want the opposite hand to opposite knee. You're gonna ground down through your sitting bones. So your two sitting bones are rooted into the floor. You wanna feel both of them equally. You're gonna reach your right arm up and over, so we're stretching the right QL right now. So as you reach that right arm up and over, these are really stretches you need to go in and feel. So to get that feel factor, feel the sensation of rooting down through the pelvis and reaching up through the hand. So it's like this simultaneous movement. We're also on a stretch. And so if you need to feel a little more, you can twist your body a little more and reach that hand up. I like to imagine there's a little hook up on the ceiling that I'm reaching for and I can feel that stretch there. Now I don't like to count out my stretches, so I want you to hold for three breaths. Big breath in, exhale. Really reach into that stretch. Big breath in, exhale. Reach that hand higher, ground that sitting bone lower. Big breath in, exhale. Plant that hand down. Let's do the other side. So right leg comes out, left leg comes in, right hand comes to left knee, reach your left arm up to the sky. So to recap, opposite hand, opposite knee is gonna put your body into a twist. We're grounded down, especially through that left sitting bone as we reach the left hand up, and that's how we stretch our left QL. So these, they're not necessarily easy muscles to get into and get stretching, but once you feel it, you know you're right there in that muscle. Now you want the sensation of rooting down through the sitting bone and reaching up through the hand, and I like to imagine there's a little hook on the ceiling that I'm grabbing for. Big breath in. Exhale, sigh. And you might find you need a little more rotation or a little more lift or a little more side bend. It's totally up to you and your body. Big breath in. Exhale, sigh. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Okay. So for our next QL stretch, you're gonna stack both of the legs. So let's go ahead, yeah, we're gonna be stretching the right QL here. So stack both of the legs on top of each other and to the left. And you're gonna take your left hand and just hook it underneath your knee. You're gonna take your right hand and glue it to your ear. That part's important. So imagine your bicep has been super glued to your ear. You're gonna reach that hand up towards the sky. So imagine that hook on the ceiling and then side bend. And you really get those deep muscles connecting the iliac crest to the bottom of the ribs which is your QL muscle. So again, think a little taller, so reaching higher and a little more side bend with a big breath in. Exhale. Big breath in. Exhale. One more in. Exhale. Plant that hand down, we're gonna reverse. So, both of the legs stack to one direction, hook that hand underneath the shin. This is my side where my QL feels more sensitive. So 
you're gonna glue your bicep to your ear, reach that hand up to the sky, and you get that little bit of side bend, all right? So you can feel that stretch into the QL. And feel free to play for it, play it with it. Maybe you need to lean a little more forward, maybe you need to side bend a little bit more, maybe you need to root down through that sitting bone a little more. But you should feel that pulling back there in the QL muscle. Keep the bicep glued to the ear, big breath in. Exhale, big breath in. Exhale, one more in. Exhale, and then you can plant that hand down and come out of that stretch. Okay, so my next two QL stretches are a child's pose with a side bend. So this is a very underrated stretch. I want you to take it into a wide leg child's pose, toes together, reaching those arms forward. And then you're gonna walk both of your hands over to the right side. So we are now stretching our left QL. So both hands over to the left side, push into your hands and send your hips back to your heels. So you're getting that side bend, but also the stretch on that QL muscle. You might feel this through your lats as well, but just breathe here. And again. One more. And then walk your hands over to the left side, feeling the stretch on the right. Push into the hands, send your hips back to your heels, and you feel that nice little bit of side bend. Big breath in. And again. One more. Beautiful, walk it back to center. Okay, last stretch here for the QL. So you are going to come into this little tall-ish kneeling shape, okay? So not tall kneeling, you're gonna sit back on your heels, put your hand down by the side, extend your leg out and reach your arm up and over. All right, so you get this nice little arc shape. I love doing this one because it really doesn't totally isolate the QL, but it kind of hits the whole side body here. So think about this arch shape like a rainbow. Let that arm just fall up and over. See if you can lift your waist up a little bit so you can feel it right in there to the rib to hip connectors. Breathe here. And again. One more. Come back up load over to the other side. So planting that knee, reach the arm up and over. Think of yourself like a little nice rainbow arch. Feels like a really nice stretch. So it doesn't necessarily isolate the QL, but you are gonna hit it in that whole muscle group there. Big breath in and out. And again in and out. Last one in and out. So those are my QL stretches. I hope that you love them. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe, like, and share with your friends. I'll see you next time. Bye.